What is up everyone, I'm Sparrow Knight 13 and I'm going to be showing you my fourth um, Halo 4 Forge collection video. Alright, this one's going to be about a Dominion map. It can only be played on Dominion. I'm pretty sure, you know, Infinity Slayer won't really hurt, but... Anyways, let's get to it. And you know, it Regicide also, but it's not really a Regicide type map. Um, so anyways, uh, this map is only to be played on Dominion unless you're going for something like Infinity Slayer, but... Yeah, so, uh, play it on Dom regular Dominion, uh, the map is called Daybreak, which is actually kind of funny, because I think there was a map that came out, no? Uh, well, there was a map at one point that I, um, that I thought was, I think it was like for Black, no, it wasn't Black Ops 2, it was, uh, for another game, it actually just came out when I made the video, um, one of or I heard that uh, one of the Halo f new Halo 4 map pack maps was supposed to be called Daybreak, so I thought that was kind of uh, that was kind of convenient. I mean, out of all the things that they could named it, named it and I named it, we named it the same thing. So, you know. Anyways, let's get to it. Um, so yeah, map is Daybreak, game type is Dominion. I'm just gonna be showing you on Forge because I'm kind of alone. So, anyways, let's start Forge. It's a pretty basic map. I mean, it's it's meant for Dominion. It's a it's a good Dominion map. We got vehicles placed in cool areas. The bases are um are set up pretty fairly. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna go to that. One, two, one. There are a few things which, like there, are, um, there's a, there might be a base or two um, that have an extra sort of thing, a um, an advantage in some way that you know you might want, you might want it for a certain reason, and I'd have to say that base would have to be this one. Um, I believe it's like base A. On. Let me just go here. Yeah, I suppose I'm just sort of editing it a bit, just slightly, because there was um there was a bit of a hassle on when we tested this out um. Really, all that happened was uh, that you know certain vehicle pads couldn't be accessed because the hill wasn't big enough. So I'm just you know making it a bit bigger. Anyways, let me get to the point of this. So let me go into. So you can see it's pretty bright, you know. Now here we got um, the base. This is going to be base A. It will show up on, um, I've been trying to get it set up, and I think I finally set up so that it'll show on, you know, like this big monitor right here. Alright, so you can, yeah, so, it's pretty simple. I think I've, tr I really tried to set, um, this one up so that it looks a lot, very nice. Like, I've got wires all going along here, and, see, now it's going into the wall to plug it in, and, you know, you got a uh, turret screen, you got the big screen to, you know, tell when it's going to be upgraded and whatever. You actually got a turret, if you didn't already see right here. Red team spawns on that side, blue team spawns on that side. I assure you there is no advantage to which side you spawn on. So here we've got a random weapon drop. Here's a scatter shot. Another scatter shot. Yeah, if you go over here, there's not one of those, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, I've got uh, I've got some weapon drops in a few areas. Oh crud! You know, look, I'm just gonna go to human here. I believe this is base C. I think. 
Um, so anyways, you can go in here. Yeah, turret base screen. I believe, yeah, I think all the, uh, all, yeah, all of the bases have at least one turret. I think they only have one turret. So, here's the base shield. So now we can climb up here. I mean, look at that. So there's the base capture, there's the turret. So, and these are all of their vehicle spawns. You know, you got a warthog over there, a bunch of mongooses. Mongoose. I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're mongooses. But, anyways, um, one of the problems that we had earlier is uh one is for the fact that the be uh some of the vehicle pads when you capture the base you wouldn't be able to use them they would still be white and neutral well now that I believe that's fixed so anyways here we got uh yeah the reason everyone loves space a it's the only base with a mantis uh it's got its own little um garage in here I suppose just you know two warthogs a mongoose uh, let's see we got another mongoose there I like it to be honest it's one of my favorite ones but truthfully I think this is my favorite one just because I mean it's got a scorpion in the back it's got two warthogs two mongoose there's the uh, turret all right, so let me go in here. Hey, you got rock just, you know, stopping you from falling down there. Here's your base monitor. Here's your base terminal. You know, you got some fancy lights. I guess this is like a um, power, uh, I don't know, I guess it provides power to the terminal and everything else in here. I'm trying to be creative. So, anyways, this is, I mean, not, there's not much to this map, but it's, uh, when you play it, it's a pretty fun map. So, yeah. Anyways, you know, we also have. Uh, you're also able to get up there from pretty much anywhere. I mean, from there, you got here. You know, sometimes this might be a problem because you know you might hit the rock, which is kind of cool. Your opponent might hit the rock, and you might not. And you know what? Your opponent gets away. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, that you also have that rock on the other side, which is pretty neat. Anyways, you, yeah, um, I when it came to um the wall coliseums, uh, I tried to make it pretty symmetrical. I think we, yeah, we should have a we have a bunch of random weapon drops and everything laying around. So you know what, you want to go scavenger hunting? Be my guest. <laughs> So, anyways, this is pretty much uh, Daybreak. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I hope you all download it. It will be in my file share. So, anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, leave a like. It always helps, you know, along with a comment. So, yeah, and um, as always, thanks for watching.